go to the bedroom. Do you have some questions to ask, Professor? <laughs> do you notice anything different about me? Yeah, I do. What? You straighten your hair. Oh, no, I didn't. Your outfit. What about my outfit? It's not pink. <laughs> <laughs> um, your hair. Guys, <laughs> I Forget it. Today's vlog is gonna be a little bit interesting. Judging by the title of this video, I felt like I needed to put a widely discussed topic in this house to rest. I feel like recently we've all been losing our marbles. We all look a little bit crazy, especially to you guys. You guys think we're crazy. But here's the thing sometimes I think I'm intelligent, but my fiance doesn't think so. Sometimes Dan Dan thinks he's intelligent, but, but my fiance, fiance doesn't, doesn't think so. Well. Today, I'm putting it to rest. Who is the most intelligent? We're gonna take a freaking IQ test today. I'm scared. Me Why too. Scared? I'm scared for you guys. Oh. <laughs> I know that judging by the title of this video, you guys think that we're doing an IQ test and what I'm about to show you guys is gonna diminish your belief in my IQ by like 20,000 points. But I saw this on TikTok, so I'm gonna do it. Hold on. All you need to do this stupid TikTok hack with me is one mandarin orange. Now you're gonna wash this with dish soap. This could also be a tutorial for super unhygienic men out there. If you're watching this. Do you get my joke? I don't get it. Bruh. <sighs> so the caption is CEO of who decides how it's done. I don't know if you guys are on the same boat as us, but we've been looking on Amazon, Target, and all of these different websites for some emergencies. I can't find any. Uh -huh. And so I know that in a time like this, I need my immunity to go up. I need my vitamin C. No. And you eat the skin? Ew. <laughs> yeah. Why? What the fuck? What did I just see? <laughs> He's a doctor, and one of his employees was TikToking him and was like, What are you doing? And he goes, Eating my lunch, and he takes a bite. She's like, That's not how you eat it. And he's like, Who decides how you do it? Wow, words. And then they interviewed him because the TikTok went viral. Come to find out, one tablespoon of a clementine or orange peel has three times the vitamin C of the actual fruit inside, four times the fiber. And so when this doctor found out about that, he started eating the peel and he grew to love it. I swear to God, you big favorite so freaking hard. Tiger decides this morning that after perusing the halls of this house, walked over to him to fart the loudest fart I've ever heard. And so me and my fiance start cracking up because it's so bad, right? And he is so happy that Tiger even walked into his direction that he goes, Good boy, Tiger! Good boy! Good boy, Tiger! Good boy! Bro, you're a simp for Tiger. I think I am. I think you are. You're what? A simp. simp. You were trending words. You're whatever. not trending. <laughs> you're you're kind of like. You're obsessed? No, I mean. So I'm like an anti simp of. Of what? Of what? <laughs> of. Um, what, honey? <laughs> Who, honey? All right, let me give you the history of the English language. A man that puts himself in a subservient, submissive position under women Ooh. in hopes of winning them over without the female bringing anything to the table. What? what? A guy that is submissive to a girl in hopes that it'll make the girl like him, but the girl doesn't do anything for the guy yet. Uh, like our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and you bring nothing to the table. I bring a lot to the table. <laughs> I don't even think we should take an IQ test anymore. <laughs> We've just exposed ourselves and our IQ. I, was... I found an IQ test on Reddit that's verified, but I feel oh, like it's not going to be entertaining because I didn't know this, but apparently IQ tests are about patterns. It's about how your brain, how quickly and how well your brain recognizes patterns. Mm -hmm. I don't know why in my head I thought an IQ test would be like riddles, like murder mysteries. Well, this one has a lot of riddles. The sequence of four words. Patterns. Triangle, glove, clock, bicycle corresponds to the set sequence of numbers 3, 5, 12, 2. True or false? Triangle, glove, clock, bicycle. Yes. Yes. Okay. Triangle, yes or no. glove, by clock, bicycle. Three, five, twelve, two. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, can you repeat the question? <laughs> repeat the question. I just want to make sure. Triangle. Okay. Glove. Okay. Clock. Okay. 
bicycle. Three, five, twelve, two. If written backwards, the number one thousand one hundred twenty-five will be written five thousand two hundred eleven. True. True. Then then you gotta answer first. Gary has only forty-eight dollars. If he borrow fifty-seven dollar from Jane and fifteen dollar from Jill, he can buy a bicycle that costs one hundred twenty dollars. Okay, then then say false. <laughs> Can you repeat the question? Okay, so we're all gonna get on three computers. I'm gonna have the camera on, but we're gonna B-roll it just so you guys know that none of us are cheating, but I don't think it's gonna be that entertaining because I'm pretty sure it's literally just all patterns of like sequences of numbers and like filling out the next number. So let's go take this IQ test first. Who do you guys think will be first place, second place, third place? That's just like realistically, who's like the first place, me or Stephanie? <laughs> okay, fine. The real question is it me or me? So humble. So humble. What do you do on your channel? Just humble content? Just <laughs> Let's go to the computers, bitch. Oh this God. could either make or break my channel right now. <laughs> okay, so I just Googled it. And it says on many tests, a score of 100 is considered average IQ. 68% of scores fall within one standard deviation of the mean. Wow, I'm already stupid. Um, <laughs> which means that it's between 85 and 115. Nearly 70% of all people score within the plus or minus 15 points of the average score. We've decided to go on officialiqtest.com. <laughs> Are we starting? Let's just start. Okay, start IQ test. Start <gasps> now. Wait, I don't get it. Are you guys all confused just like Are me? Are you confused, bro? Yeah. <laughs> bro, I'm on the third question, right? Yeah. You're on third already? My brain is already How are you already fried. on the third? You figure out number two? Yeah. Bro, No, I don't believe you. Seriously, man. There's no way. Just trust me. Nah. Do you are overthinking it? I think so. That Holy fast? shit. Damn, damn, finish. You guys ready? Yeah. I swear to God, if it says put in your PayPal. Are you serious? Oh my God, $29. Ah! Oh, oh! I told you! $30? Three of us will be $100 to find out my IQ. Can I just. Oh, like, what do we do? Wow, I thought it was free. That's why I tried so hard. Oh my God! I'm gonna pay for mine. I need to know. Are you serious? Mm hmm. I'm kinda mad. Like, I worked and studied so hard for it. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm in the, the above average range, though. Oh, now that he doesn't have to know, he's like, oh, for sure. This is bullshit. I quit. Are you actually paying? Yeah. <laughs> Guess what, honey? Below average? I'm above average. Ooh, I got wow. 114. Yeah. My brain capacity is high. Oh. All right, we're Very doing bad. it. We're paying for Dan Dan. Are you nervous? I'm so nervous. Are you nervous, honey? No. Are you ready? Bruh, Bruh beat ya. He is high capacity 110, up top. 110? 110. What are you? How many questions you guys got wrong? I oh, got nine. Oh, you got nine wrong? Yeah. I got 11 wrong. Let me see yours. The last question you just guessed. The last question I did this. You guessed. Yeah. And it was right or wrong? Stopped. It doesn't tell you. Otherwise, we would be super Asian and not pay and just compare answers <laughs> and get percentages, you know? Dan Dan's taking a picture right now. Screenshotting this, sending it to his mom. <laughs> Say, mom, look, I'm above average. It's okay, Dan Dan. Oh, man, I'm so nervous for you. Why am I so nervous? What if you're lower than me? I mean, then I guess you're the fucking smart one in the house. Holy shit! What? Relax, everyone. Holy Relax. Guys. I was honestly Wait, expecting a little. I got one answer wrong. What? what? You got one wrong. You got one wrong. I got Wait. nine wrong. I got twenty-nine correct. Dude, you're a genius. I think you can get as high as one forty-five, guys. I'm just a little bit better than you guys. That's all. Okay. Let's go to the bedroom. <laughs> I'm too smart for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, how'd you guys got nine wrong? All how did right, you get we, 11? We get it, All right, we, we get, get it. it. You're, You're smart, smart bro. What were you guys doing? Just like close your eyes and just <laughs> guess? You know 
way. I like this website. Yeah. That's money well spent, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna take a picture and send it to my mom. Okay, bye. So this one is yeah. the free personality test. You don't have to pay for it, but you have to answer. Are you sure? and, yeah, it's positive. We both took it. You have to answer. Honestly, okay. not who you want to be, but who you are. Okay. Hi, welcome back. Welcome to my shiny forehead and me. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Dan Dan's results back, and I'm about to tell you who you are deep down as a person, okay? It says that he is a protagonist. His personality, it's ENFJ A slash ENFJ slash T. Lots of Fs. So you're 50% extroverted. 56%. 56%. 52% intuitive, 57% feeling. So it says everything you do right now ripples outward and affects everyone. Your posture can shine your heart or transmit anxiety. Ooh. Your breath can radiate love or muddy the room in depression. Your glance can awaken joy. Your words can awaken freedom. Your every act can open hearts and minds. Wow. Said absolutely nothing wrong. It says you are a natural born leader, full of passion and charisma, forming wow. around 2% of the population. Wow. They are oftentimes our politicians, our wow. coaches, and our teachers. Can we get something more concrete and solid? Okay, okay. so strengths. You are tolerant, you're a team player, and you recognize that listening to other people's opinions, even when they contradict your own opinion. I feel like that's true. Is that true? So what? They admit that they don't have all the answers. That's true, and are often receptive yeah. to dissent so long it remains constructive, yeah? Yeah. Reliable. The one thing that gals protagonize the most is the idea of letting down a person or cause they believe in. You always be counted on to see it through. Yeah. 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 Charismatic, charm and popularity are qualities protagonists have in spades. They know how to capture an audience and pick up on move and motivation in ways that allows them to communicate with reason, emotion, passion, and restraint. Oh my god, talented imitators. Protagonists are able to <laughs> shift their tone and manner to reflect the needs of the audience while still maintaining their own voice. So like a cow. Like a cow! Uh -huh. Altruistic. It says that you have an unyielding desire to do good and for their communities, be it in their own home or the global stage. Warm and selfless. They genuinely believe that if they can just bring people together, they can do the world. You really want to bring people together, huh? Damn. Do you agree uh, with that? Not really. <laughs> you Are you sure? Bring people together? Because every time he wants to play ghost up, he brings the house together. He <laughs> says, Stephanie, are you busy? Which one are you busy? <laughs> Natural leaders, more than seeking authority themselves, you often end up in leadership roles at the request of others, cheered on by admirers for your strong personality. Okay, your weaknesses. Overly idealistic. You can be caught off guard because through circumstance or a simple misunderstanding, people fight against them and defy the prin principles they've adopted. Too selfless. You can bury themselves in their hopeful promises, feeling other people's problems as their own. Do you agree with that? No. No? Too sensitive. No? I mean, I'm sensitive, but not too sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Fluctuating self-esteem. Sometimes you define your self-esteem by whether you are able to live up to other people's expectations. So if you fail to meet a goal, then your self-esteem goes down. You agree with that? No. So you don't think you're sensitive for self-esteem? I self -esteem? am, but self-esteem is like more insecure, right? No. It's just like you don't feel good about yeah, it. Yeah, you're not like oh, super Oh, so if calm. I don't reach certain goal, you're everything so you do. I mean, sometimes. Struggle to make tough decisions. If caught between a rock and a hard place, uh -huh. you can be stricken with paralysis. You freeze. Hard. I mean, it takes time to, for me to think, yeah. Romantic relationships. Oh. You're a slow walker, but you never walk back. Dang. Dang. I got him. <laughs> uh, okay, that was fun. I can't believe you don't think this is accurate. When we were reading ours, we were, we're like, like, holy shook. shit. Every two seconds, we were like, what? Yeah. He's an architect and I'm an adventurer. Holy crap, I can see you as an architect. Yeah. It's like super rare, like very logical, almost too logical that yep, they hurt people. <laughs> they true. don't know how to like talk like normal people. Oh, so right. they're like very just like logical. They're like, I'm telling you to do this because it's going to help you. But then nobody else feels it because it's like so mean. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so leave a love comment down below. <laughs> Okay, and let us know what your personality is and if you guys think that a protagonist matches a dun-dun. What is T looking for in relationship? Okay, you have a tendency to avoid any type of conflict. You don't like conflict. I don't. 
Uh oh. So what's the good part? He's you like, don't much need much to be happy. No. All you need in a relationship is to know that your partner is happy. That's Dang. cute. That's, that's a kiss. That's, that's, that's deep. So you overall don't agree with a lot of these. I I, I agree. That's uh, like he doesn't. He wants to avoid conflict right now. But I, I agree on some and I disagree on some. His self esteem is wondering. Did I do this test correctly? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. So um, we got the whole squad ass here for the outro. Don't know why until I realized that Dan Dan has a plan for us because I don't know if you guys know this, but just like judging by the numbers, judging by the facts, you the dumbest boo boo. Nah. Like if they say I have two brain cells, you have one and three fourths. Okay. And he's got like five. I feel like a genius among you. <laughs> <laughs> so before we do the outro, Dan Dan decided, you know what, I feel like those weren't correct. I feel like this IQ test is a scam, it's a sham, oh, it yeah. shouldn't be allowed, it's illegal, it's a freaking false advertising. And so we decided to look into one of the hardest IQ tests ever that is a lot more logical than pattern oriented. And apparently, this is one of the easiest IQ tests in terms of it's only three questions and majority of people get it all wrong. Let's do it. So the first question is, a bat and a ball cost a dollar and ten total. The bat cost one dollar more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? Are you serious? So x plus y equals 110. So x minus... No, wait, I'm confused. <laughs> That's so easy. Okay, so five cents, right? Five cents. Five cents. This is not IQ. This is too easy. Right? What is wrong with you guys? Look at what he did. What? Look at what you did. Look at what you did. You want to see what I did? One dollar ten cents minus one dollar ten cents. Five cents. <laughs> oh, for real? I did a list of algebra. Okay, next. <laughs> they did what? X equals Y equals Y <laughs> equals one dollar. X equals two cents equals Y equals calculus equals ball. <laughs> Alright, let's do the next one then. Okay, <laughs> okay, if it takes five machines, five minutes to make five widgets, how long would it take 100 machines to make 100 widgets? So easy. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. What do you, you got it then then? Hold on. Oh, yes. What is it? 100. No. no. Five minutes. Five minutes. Wait. What's the question? <laughs> oh, five minutes. <laughs> In a lake, there is a patch of lily pads. Every day, the patch doubles in size. Uh -huh. If it takes 48 days for the patch to cover the entire lake, how long would it take the patch to cover half of the lake? Oh my god, that's lake? so easy. Come okay, on. let me think. Hold on. Oh, I know. You sure? Yeah. Oh, I got it. What is it? One day. Takes one day? 24 hours. To hit half of the lake? I said 47 days. 47 days. Why? Because it doubles in size. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> it so would double in So, on 47 day. days, it will be half of the lake, and 48 days, the half will double into the full lake. <laughs> Alright, so the IQ test was right! <laughs> Up top! Alright, so in the next video, you guys will see what we do to Dan Dan as his punishment. Punishment? I thought this was Wait, 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 I never heard, wait, what? Yes, you're getting a neck tattoo. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see what Dan Dan looks like with the neck tattoo, stay tuned for the next video. And let me know if you guys all of the, if you guys, if you guys got these questions right. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh.